So I can't, I can't direct substitute. I can't factor. Um, there's no radicals, so I'm not going to want to do any rationalizing. So the next thing is I just want to use any type of algebraic properties that I can to just simplify this of any way. And we know that this is a complex fraction, and there are ways for us to simplify this, which we practice you know, at the, uh, in the first couple days of class. So to do that, we need to kind of get rid of our denominators. There's a couple different ways we could have done this. You could either combine the numerator and then reduce it. Um, a lot of times, I just like to identify what the LCD is. So of each of all of these denominators, the LCD is x plus 4, 4, and 1. Oh, that's all the denominators. So the least common denominator that x plus 4, 4, and 1 all divide into is 4 times x plus 4. And what's nice about the LCD is if you multiply the numerator and the denominator by the LCD, um, remember, think of like that over 1, then we can uh, eliminate our denominators. So remember, you have to multiply the numerator and the denominator, though, to keep equivalent fractions. Apply distributive property. Do you guys need me to write that out, or you guys, you guys can follow my simplifying from here? If, anybody, if you have questions, let me know. But I'm just going to kind of move ahead with this. Um, so by doing that, I now obtain x plus 4 and x plus 4 divide out, so that leaves me with 4. The 4s divide out, that leaves me with a negative x plus 4. And here, I don't have anything but that 4 and the x multiply to give me 4 times x times x plus 4. Right now, I distribute the negative 4 minus x minus 4 divided by 4 times x times x plus 4. Again, you could distribute, but let's just leave that distributing out for a second. Uh, what we notice here is the 4 and the negative 4 divide out. So therefore, that's just going to leave me with a negative x over. 4x times x plus 4. Now my x's divide out. So it's leaving me with a negative 1 over 4 times x plus 4. And again, we don't need to, I mean, you can distribute it, but we don't really need to. All we're doing is going to be evaluating for 0. And when I plug in my 0, I get 0 plus 4 is 4. 4 times 4 is 16. So my final answer is negative 1 16. So yes, I could factor it. I could distribute and simplify it, but I don't really need to because I'm just going to be direct substitution that back in. Does everybody see that? 